paint, printer ink cartridges, plastics, cosmetics. These are a few of the thousands of common industrial and consumer products manufactured using a chemical called propylene glycol. Each year, more than 2 billion pounds of petroleum are consumed to meet the current demand for the chemical. Now, a new process developed by researchers at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory in Richland, Washington, offers a commercially proven, cost-effective way to make propylene glycol from renewable sources. Development of the innovative process began in the early 2000s with a series of collaborations that resulted in a new set of catalysts and the discovery that glycerol could be converted to propylene glycol. This meant that what was once made from a petroleum-based process could be produced entirely using a renewable feedstock, raw materials such as corn, sugarcane, and soybean. Archer Daniels Midland Company, a global leader in agricultural processing, teamed with PNNL researchers to optimize the catalysts for commercial applications. After validating the concept, ADM licensed the technology with plans to commercially produce the chemical solely from renewable sources. In 2010, ADM completed construction and commissioning of our glycol plant here in Decatur, Illinois. The plant has a capacity of 100,000 metric tons. Third-party studies have also shown that our product has a 61% greenhouse gas reduction in comparison to the petroleum analog. This allows our customers to reduce their carbon footprint. The new multi-million dollar facility is the first of many expected to follow, significantly reducing petroleum use in the production of industrial propylene glycol. Today, the ADM and PNNL collaboration continues as both organizations forge ahead to pioneer new ways of responsibly producing valuable chemicals that respect the earth and its inhabitants.